Right, bit of an explanation before I go straight in. So we're at a lad's ass who's gone through the right paperwork with a bank to get his mortgage payments back as the fraudulent. <clears throat> He's been able to do so and the bank's paid him his mortgage back. And then supposedly he's had letters now saying that they're going to try and come and remove him from his home, which obviously they're not allowed to do. And that would be a corporation doing this anyway, which would be a third or second party. So what he did, the guy who owns this, this property, is he went to the police and he made a crime number to make sure that the police won't come and get involved and assist the bailiffs basically because the police are not allowed to assist bailiffs because it's it's fraudulent so just a little bit of info have you spoke to them at all oh here we go So basically, in this sort of situation, the police, as they've already said that they're not going to get involved, because there's already been a crime report put out there that terrorists are basically coming to take over the house, unlawfully. The police have said that they can't assist the bailiffs because it's a civil matter. Yeah, so they're actually, they've actually already pre-told the guy who lives in the house that they're not going to get involved. So they must be here only for the breach of the peace, if there is to be any. So in my opinion, the best way to deal with this, well there's a lot of people here, it's a really good turnout, but the best way to deal with this would be to all line up across the front of the drive now, side by side, and then if anyone wants to go and walk past anyone, so if a bailiff was then to try and walk past any of the people, he is breaching the peace. He is putting his hands on the others and moving them to get through. So therefore, the police should step in there because they are breaching the peace. Do you see what I mean? Because the police aren't actually here for any side in particular, as, as we've already established. Because like I say, the bloke who owns the house rang through the police the other day, put a crime report in and, they, and told him that basically people are coming to take his house from him. And they said, we can't get involved. It's a civil matter. So hopefully, as I'm saying, I'm just bringing some awareness to this. Um, hopefully, they will honour their oath and they will just be here for the breach of the peace. So all we should have to do really, like I say, stand across the drive and tell the bailiffs and give the bailiffs the information. Because believe me now, the guy who's done this has got a booklet as thick as my arm with the information and the deeds to the house and everything so i'm just going to keep the video on to see what's going my battery is quite low though guys so if it does go i'm sure rob or kenny or someone else if you see any familiar faces here i'll walk around for you so you can have a look i'm sure one of them will end up Oh man, can I need so, one of them? Has anybody any of these? Thank you very much, whoever's brought the water. Thank you to whoever's brought the water. What they saying, John? They, they, I, I don't really know, to be honest. I was doing a little um, bringing ev up, up, everyone up to speed on here. 
Do you want to say it to anyone, will you? Yeah, this is the bloke. They're calling them out for fraud, and uh, I've got all the documentations here. I ain't just doing it for myself, I'm doing it for all of you. Come on, Ben, you tell me. No true words there. Yeah, thank you. If any of you lot can shove other people's streams in the um, in the comments, that'd be good because I ain't got much battery life to be honest with you. So I'm thinking it's going to end up going on me if they don't pull any moves soon. <coughs> A really good turnout though guys and I heard that there's a rapid response team in Derby um, that literally come out to people and help people who are in this situation and just get people here um, Helen what's going on Helen there is somebody basically who's been successful in getting the mortgage payments back under the f fact that it's all fraud the banks paid it in back with ease just with the right paperwork and then basically they told him that they're gonna come and remove him from his home which obviously is unlawful so we're all here in support Helen and he's got all the paperwork to back him So it's all pretty quiet in a minute. I think they're working out how to go about it. Working out how many people to bring. Yeah, it is fab, Helen. People do need to stick together. It's been a lot of divide in this whole thing. There's another police turning up now. So there's three police cars when it only really takes one to really tell what who's breaching the peace, doesn't it? So something tells me that they're not here just for the breach of the peace. That's my opinion. There's another one coming in here. So there's one, two, three, four, four police cars now. Oh, probably with two, so there's eight. Yeah, that's, they shouldn't be though, Laura. And what Billy's done is he got in contact with the police and he asked them if they're going to be present to turn up. And if so, what are they going to be there for? 
and they promised him that they're, they're only going to be here for breach of the peace. So, you never know, if you're thinking about it, and if you had a company, yeah, and you've seen this amount of people, you'd think, shit, I need to send more of my company to breach, to, to in case it does kick off, because there's going to be a lot of them kicking off. But, we'll see if they stand by the word. Do you know what I mean? That's, what, that's all you can do, innit? You can, you can see what's, you've got that many eyes on them today, they're going to have to act correctly. And this is how you have to do it. You should always have a video on them. Even if you're on your own, because I don't, like, I, I do this myself. Like, I've had this at my door and you just dismiss it. Yeah, because there's ways and means of doing it and there's obviously ways of acting. But they're probably thinking all of these people are here to cause trouble today. So it depends what they're lining their self up for. Because basically the bailiffs are going to come over, are going to talk to the guy. And if there's a human fence, they can't walk through it, can they? Let's be fair. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing. You've got to make sure nobody becomes aggressive or aggravated. And like I say, the three key signs, I've told people about this before. So I can even... Turn my camera in a minute. So the three key signs of that is raised elevation of the voice, frown, and then body language. Yeah. So as I've said before, you've got three things that... I've still got the film on my camera. They've got three things. Sorry, one minute, guys. It's going to look shite a minute. Um, yeah, so they've got three things that they look for in that type of thing. Sorry, that's probably a bit clearer for you all now. Um, yeah, so they've got three things that they look for, and it's your body language, your voice, tone, and your um, mannerisms. That is body language. So they kind of look towards your facial expressions first. If you're all franny and looking angry and then you've got high tone, it's kind of going to start going against you very quickly. So, yeah, you're right. You've got to got to keep your calm in these sorts of situations. And if anyone wants to know, there's a guy in Nottingham used to do videos years ago, um, common law videos, and he actually... <sighs> Tammy Neal, my sister, can actually post this. Um, I'll get her to post it later. He actually makes songs up and stuff, and he goes out to the bailiffs, pretty much uh, one of the guys from this movement does. He just goes out and he has a laugh with them about it and talks to them about information that they may not know. Just watch the road, fella. Yeah. yeah. Seem a bit reluctant to uh, make a move. Yeah. Well, they're still trying to win over the police. Billy's Billy's done the right thing by informing the police, though. I informed the police. Oh, well. did you inform the police? Yeah. Well, I, I, you... sent, I sent an email to the inspector where these pear tree station, where these uh, constables are from. Yeah. Um, hopefully. Um, that should do the trick. Because if they're saying that they're here to assist, um, not to assist, they're here to see the breach of the peace. As long as we line up along the front row, if they breach the peace, these bailiffs, yeah, then the police. Yeah, I've yeah. That to them. That's brilliant. It's filmed, it's on camera. Brilliant. I made sure. I, I, I even got one of them to show me his warrant card. Yep. Um, Did he do that willingly? Um, <laughs> they never do. Kind of. <laughs> they never do. Um, that's on camera. That's filmed. Brilliant. Um, they say they're here just to uh, take the peace. Uh, so I've made it clear to them if uh, we're here for passive. Yeah, sorry, go on, carry on speaking. They're here to what, sorry? Yeah, I, we just made it clear to them that um, they should be here under their oath. Yeah. Uh, especially the uh, bit about impartiality. Yeah. We're not looking for them to collude with the bailiffs, mm -hmm. um, they should just stand back. Yeah. Um, we are here purely as passive resistance, um, and if they should see that the bailiffs are uh, threatening or 
attempting to breach the peace, peace they should uh, they should act against them. Yeah. Yeah. They've received a copy of, of this, which includes a notice to the police as well as the bailiffs. Yeah. Any police officer who is acting for the corporate police and not acting as a constable for on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and her people is expressed in the oath of office of the policemen and women. That is a public servant upon the oath of office to serve with fairness, integrity, diligence, impartiality, upholding the fundamental human rights and according equal respect to all people and that it will be the best of their power to cause the peace to be kept and preserved and prevent all offences against the people and property. So they've been spoken to and they've been given written notice. In my opinion, just in my opinion looking at this, it looks like the bailiffs have gone to ask the police for assistance and it doesn't really look as if they're getting out to assess. Can you tell me a bit about what's going on? So we can see a judge's signature and also a court seal stamp. No. No one shaft. It does, it does sometimes. That's just, that's just uh, the judge's signature. Yeah, yeah, not bad. I'm just waiting now to see if they start going pushing past. Because that's what they're going to do, isn't it? Anyway, if you yeah. want to get back in the fray, mate, let me know. Let me know. Um, well, we certainly need to go back on yeah. the... Uh, before they start, before they do, we need to be doing some stuff anyway, really. So if don't don't hesitate to get let me know, mate, if you want to do stuff. That's what they're all waiting for. He's got no paperwork here to show me. Yeah. You don't Just make to. sure you keep, we all stand across so they can't walk in. No. Yeah. Don't touch me. Yeah, don't touch me. Really? Yeah, that's a salt. That's a salt. You can't do that. You're not allowed to touch. Do you like to let me through? No, no, no. Please, you should. Please, there's hands being put on a person here. That should be. That's. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Leg legislation requires the consent to be governed. What do you mean? Okay, that's that's the truth. Legislation requires the consent to be governed. Don't put your hands on me. No. Don't touch me. Just stay Don't still. You're not coming. No hands. Do you know that? Can you stop pushing you know against me, please? Can you stop pushing against me, please? Don't 
Right. 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 You're not supposed to be impartial. Right. This is a civil case. Right. You're supposed to be impartial. Why are you here? So, this lady, Miss R. Oldham, is actually assaulting me, John Neal, and I'm going to be pressing charges against Miss R. Rohan. Thank you very much. So, Officer 14924, Officer 14924, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get this woman done for assault, please. She's just assaulted me. Excuse me, Miss Rowan's just assaulted me, please. Can I have some assistance, please? Go away! Excuse me, can I have some assistance, please? No. So there you go, I can't get no assistance. So everyone keep calm, back on the line. Keep calm, back on the line and stay doing again. Stay doing again. That's our Rowan getting a, 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 a notice from me. They haven't got, we have power to use reasonable force. Exactly we, we have the exact same power, my friend. Legislation requires the consent to be governed. You need to look at your birth certificate fraud in your country. Legislation requires the consent to be governed. You need to look up your birth certificate fraud that your own government has done on you. So everyone stand together when they do come and just stand strong because it's the same thing. They're just going to have to keep doing it. But whoever she touches, you tell her you from your name are going to put a claim in on them. And then they see how she walks off. So the next person that assaults you, it's another claim. It's another claim. Go and arrest the MPs committing genocide against our... Genocide! Are you happy that five-year-olds are being taught porn in school? Are you not happy about that? Because your company, your company that you work for is allowing it. Yeah, they're segregating us, guys. They're separating us. Right, back on the line, guys. Don't let them draw you out. Yeah, we were flying it, it doesn't have any paperwork because people yeah. are showing it. Well, they ain't got no paperwork. They got no signed nothing from a judge. The only thing that Billy even got was some company that had signed it with a company name as the signature. How can that even be? So what? Has the building signed the paperwork? Absolute joke. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, they shouldn't be trying to breach that area then, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, yeah, but they're going to try to come through there. I get what you mean. Yeah, okay. This is why I say to anyone who wants to push all this common law thing, 10 or 12 foot fence around your ass, secured gate. 400 people. <laughs> but this is what, not everyone can get this. Some areas, I have people contacting me from some areas, yeah. mate, where there's only four and five people actually not got a jab in their whole area. We all need to get in. Yeah, well, we need a quick response app. So the, someone presses it, they turn red, and everyone jumps on that area. Because I would jump on it. If I seen things coming red on my area, I'd be there on every single time. Yeah, certainly right about the fence as well. Yeah. yeah. 12 foot, 10, 12 a proper, foot fence. Proper railings that they can't, they, they can't go over. And then it, when they do look over it, if you've got two massive big guard dogs at the front of it, they ain't coming over. Yeah, trust me. Nice exactly. Yeah. I think two people got I got assaulted. Yeah. By yeah. Rowan. Yeah. You know what, mate? Walk off. I started. To, uh, I just told him that I'm putting a claim against you from assault. You're putting assault on me. I've been over there and asked them twice. Did she have to give it me? Just show it. Did that bailiff assault you? Did she? Yeah, she was pushing. She was literally leaning against me, pushing through me. Yeah, yeah. What was your crime number, Bill? What was your crime number, Bill? They didn't give me a crime number. They, they said that we don't, we don't get involved in a civil matter. Oh, yeah. well, there you go, then. Yeah.
But then they've just Where's the victim? Me. There's no victim here. Mm. Mm. Even yep. by standing there, they're just trying to intimidate. Yeah. Excuse me, officer. Excuse me. Do you know if I did want to put a claim in against that assault, because it is assault when an, uh, another person pushes up against you, how would I go about that? Uh, uh, the enforcement officer is allowed to use reasonable force. Not against me. To access they're not allowed to use assault. Just a quick one. They're not allowed to use assault. Just a quick one, seriously. So they're allowed to assault me. Can I get you saying that on camera, Officer Wanford? Hold on. Hold on one second. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I can give you the right for that on here. And they're allowed we to don't use, consent to your they're bullshit allowed now. To use reasonable we don't force. consent to So we can use reasonable force, 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 force back. That's irrelevant. We're allowed to use... Your work for that. No, can I, can I just ask? Can I just ask? Because I asked a question. Do you know the lady that assaulted me? How do I put a, a claim into the police against her, please? You can, you can ring 101 and say, tell them what's happened and tell them that the High Court and Court of Officers... You assaulted. assaulted yeah. Not you believe, I've got it on You've evidence. Got it on video anyway. Yeah. And then somebody will be in so can I just ask you as a police officer, yeah. do you know when one or what so if I come and yeah. shoulder barged you now to try and walk through your path, yeah. is that assault? Yes. Thank you. So, so she assaulted me. So she yes, was trying she to walk through yeah, my you path. Need to go away. You don't work for us. Thank you very much you for that, work. because you've got 111 people laughing their ass off at you right now. I thought you was working walk on the road. Do you actually know your oath if I was asked you to recite it, guy? No? Most people would turn and just recite it if they knew it. No, obviously not. Guys. Obviously okay. fucking you. not. You, Absolute clans. And do you know what? They probably went to the same schools we did, yeah? The same places we did, got the same information most of the people watching has got, which isn't a lot. They don't know the law. That Brendan Bash had just put some stuff out recently the other day, saying they are going and they will go. So that's a policeman gun. Let's see where the locksmith went. Because people forget about these people. But don't forget the locksmith is a criminal as well. Because I tell you now, you have a locksmith coming to my house, you ain't going away with your tools, mate. That is a van up there. I ain't got a clue. Sorry for all the people whose number plates are on here that you don't want. Unfortunately, this truth is more important. So guys, as long as you keep the peace, as long as you just put yourself across as a, you're better off with a 12 foot fence, but if you can do it with your, with your sen, with your people who you can get around you, obviously a good crowd, good people. Thank you very much to everyone who come and helped Billy out, because this is what we need. Anyone else who needs this type of thing, ring us, and we'll try and get all these people to you. But it seems, at the minute, the every police car seems to have gone my battery is literally hanging on five percent i'll leave it on for a bit just to see if any more any more things happen um thank you very much for any info in the chat i couldn't see it all because my screen dimmed part of the way through that seems like they've all gone yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, get over there. That's the one you give him. You write down all the details on there. That's the one you try to give him. Right, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the video down to try and save this last few percent that I've got. Um, it seems as if they're gone at the moment. They could be regrouping around the corner and wanting to come and try again, but I doubt it with the amount of money that's wasted on this type of thing. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching, tuning in, share around, and let people know. This is how you go on and do it properly. See you later, guys.